Hey everybody, uh, this one's like the last one. This one's subtracting uh, with unlike denominator. So don't forget, all your lessons can be found at mrmathlog.com. All right, there's our common core strand, and our question is, how can we use models to subtract fractions that have different denominators? Here we're going to use fraction strips. Okay, so Patrick fills hummingbird feeders with three-fourths cup of sugar water on Monday. He sees that one-eighth cup of sugar water is left on Thursday. So how much uh, sugar water did the hummingbirds uh, drink? Well, that's a lot of sugar water, isn't it? So we're going to use fraction strips right here, and we're going to find what is three-fourths minus one-eighth. So uh, we're going to place three one-fourth strips under one whole strip, and then we'll place a, a one-eighth strip under the one-fourth strips, the three of them right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that right here. So there's um, uh, three one-fourth strips. Uh, under the hole, and then there's one eighth under the three one four strips right here. So we're interested in this little area right below that because we're going to subtract those two. So this would be the difference right here. Difference meaning subtract right there. All right, so what we're going to do now is find fraction strips all with the same denominator that fit exactly under the difference uh, three fourths minus one eighth. And if you have your fraction strips, you just start uh, seeing which ones will fit right there. Hopefully, you can see another one eighth will fit right here and just cover it go right to that right there and so we can put other one eighths right there and another you know one eighths will fill up that difference right there okay so we can record the difference so three fourths here's three fourths three one fourths minus this one eighth right here is going to equal this leftover space so there's five of the eights in there or five eighths okay easy enough so the hummingbirds drank five eighths cup of sugar water right there all right, so how can we tell if the difference uh, uh, of the fractions is less than or greater than 1? Well, that's easy enough. Since this extra space right here that shows the difference is less than the whole strip, then it's going to be less than 1. Okay? All right, so describe how we can determine what, fra what fraction strips, all with the same denominator, would fit exactly under the difference, and what are they? All right, well, since 1 fourth is a multiple of 1 eighth, then we used 1 eighth strips to fill that space in the difference right there, okay? So 4 times 2 equals 8. So since it's a multiple of 1 eighth right here, uh, then we can put the one eighth uh, fraction strips under there. Explain whether we could have used um, uh, fraction strips with any other denominator to find the difference. And if so, what is the common denominator? Well, this one was kind of hard to see, and I had to dig deep for this. But the sixteenth fraction strip also worked underneath there. If you if you have sixteenth strips right here, okay, they would fit. In fact, it, there's ten of them that would fit right here underneath right there. That difference. So here's the difference right here. This is our original difference, and there's 10 sixteenths right there, okay? So it will give us 10 sixteenths. All right, sometimes we can use different sets of the same denominator fra uh, uh, fraction strips to find the difference. All answers are going to be correct, so we're going to solve 2 thirds minus 1 sixth. Okay, so here's uh, 2 1 third strips, and then we're going to take off this 1 sixth strip right here. Okay, well, here the easy one is to put another 1 sixth right there, since... Um, uh, one third is a multiple of one sixth right here. Then we can go ahead and uh, fill it up with one sixth strip. So two thirds minus one sixth is equal to three sixths because it would fill up this these three right here and fill in that space right there. Okay. What about um, uh, if we did? Another set of fraction strips, all with the same denominators that fit exactly in this difference, okay? And it's just you just got to pick up your fraction strips and see which ones fit right here. And then you might find this pair, the fourth strips, fit in there perfectly. So two-thirds, here's one-third, here's another one-third, so there's two-thirds. Minus this one-six will equal this one-fourth and this one-fourth, or two-fourths right there. Now notice, um, well, let's do this again right here. Let's do it again. Let's find another fraction strip, all with the same denominators that fit exactly underneath the difference right there, okay? So we can put one-eighths in there. Check that out. So there's four one-eighths in there, so it also equals four-eighths right there. It also equals one-half right there. Boy, it also equals 5 tenths right here. Look at all of these um, uh, numerators. They're all half of the denominator. This is 1 half, 5 is half of 10, 4 is half of 8. That first one we had 3 is half of 6 right there. Okay, so while well, each appears different, uh, all of the answers can be simplified to 1 half right here, okay, because they're all 1 half. Okay, all right, I hope you guys are doing good. Take care, you guys.